with all the races lately, it's been a while since I posted a training video. Now, I'm training for the Dopey Challenge in January, so I need to get to training. My foot's been hurting, so I kind of have to see uh, where I'm at in my training right now, but it, it's feeling okay at the moment. Uh, I'll be talking about the races that I have coming up, and I'm changing my running strategy and my plans for other races. I'll explain why. I haven't been on a long run since the Berlin Marathon. I hurt my foot in the Disneyland Paris races, which was probably a result from going out too fast uh, at the start of the races and just doing too much overall in the three days. Um, but I still ran the Berlin Marathon. It's a familiar pain on the side of my foot, but after the marathon, also my Achilles started hurting. So I had to take it easy for a little bit. I've been doing exercises for my foot and I actually feel a lot better now. I feel like I'm ready to run long distances again, but I still want to be a little bit careful. We're in week 17 of the Dopey Challenge training plan, so you should be well on your way getting prepared for marathon weekend if that's what you're training for. Now, if you're following my training plan, this week you're running a half marathon. And I have to say, I love this part of the training plan. It's because when I first started out running, I was training for a half marathon. And I only got up to like 12K on my training. The half marathon while running it seemed like the longest distance ever. And I was broken by the time I got to the finish. I couldn't walk anymore. Thinking back to that, that I was having such a hard time and now a half marathon is a training run. That makes me feel pretty good about myself. So yeah, I love this part of the training. And even though it's still a long distance to run, um, just the fact that once it seemed like it was this Olympic performance to run a half marathon, and now I'm just running a half marathon during the week as a training run. Yeah, I think that is really cool. So if you're running a half marathon this week, you should be proud of yourself. Now I know I mentioned this before, but I just love running into these cows. I think they're so cool. I just wanna run up to them and cuddle them. <laughs> but th that's actually why they have those horns because they really hate being cuddled and otherwise people be cuddling them all day long. So what's in store before Dopey? Now on November 10th, I'm running the Urban Trail in Harlem. Uh, I missed that one last year when I was trying to run all the urban trails because I was running the Marathon of Athens. So I'm doing that this year and I've, I've heard that it's a really good one this year. Now, a week after on the 17th, I'm running the Seven Hill Run in Nijmegen, which I've been told by a lot of people is uh, the best running event in the Netherlands. It's gonna be my first time, so I'm really looking forward to that one. It's 15K, but it's hilly, so it might be a little bit tough because I'm not used to running hills, but yeah, it should be a good one. Other than that, I haven't planned any other races yet uh, between now and Dopey. Uh, there are a couple of events that I might join in on. I'm not sure yet. Uh, there are a lot of Christmas themed events that I'll probably, uh, uh, run a couple of but I'll have to see uh, which ones where and when so uh, I'll keep you posted on that one Now speaking of Christmas my friend and YouTube star Meredith Rice from Rice Rice Runner uh, Did vlogmas last year and encouraged me to do the same uh, If you don't know what vlogmas is it's when uh, you post a video from December 1st until Christmas every single day So this year I'm gonna take Meredith up on that and I'm gonna join in on vlogmas so be prepared for a lot of upcoming videos. I also bought some new products recently to help me with my training. So I'll be making some reviews pretty soon uh, and talk to you about how this could help you as a runner. I also got some new running shoes. I know I didn't really need shoes, but uh, I'll explain how that happened. 
and I'll post a review about the shoes, of course. Now looking further ahead, there has been a little bit of a change in my plans for my running future. Uh, the reason I started running and continued running was the Disney races. And I'm looking forward to running a lot of Disney races next year. I have a bunch of them planned already. Um, my focus on my training and my running has been to be able to run the distance and uh, being able to film and comfortably run. Uh, the focus hasn't really been on uh, the time it takes me to run a marathon or a half marathon. I haven't been focusing on my speed that much or at, at all lately. And, and that's gonna change. Now at the Disneyland Paris races, um, the corral assignments are just horrible. And I really don't expect or trust the organization to change that for next year. Because this year they pretty much lied to us about the Corel assignments, and uh, the only way to get in front of that and not have to deal with that is by running a half marathon under an hour and 30 minutes. So again, my goal for next year is to try and do that. Last year I wanted to do this at the CPC in The Hague, but the race got cancelled. So next year I'm going to try the same thing. In March I will uh, attempt to run a half marathon under an hour and 30 minutes running the Berlin Marathon, that was amazing. I had such a good time running that marathon. It, it was so well organized. The atmosphere was amazing. And that made me want to do the other mar major marathons even more. So that's another new goal. I'm gonna run all six major marathons. Now all of them are pretty hard to get into, but it's not impossible. Uh, you can uh, enter by using the ballot uh, go to Charity Way or use a travel agent. The hardest one to get into is the Boston Marathon. Just to qualify for that, you have to be crazy fast. <laughs> and um, seeing that I'm going to be training for running a half marathon under an hour and 30 minutes, I want to try and see if maybe if that works out, uh, if I can uh, continue that training and work my way up to a Boston qualifying time. Uh, First, I'm gonna to have to see how that half marathon works out. So uh, yeah, that's still up in the air, but uh, it's something that I'd like to work on. Now, I've, uh, I've been kind of working on a program, like a secret weapon to help me with my speed. I'll talk to you about that uh, a bit more in an upcoming video. Uh, I have my, uh, my schedule made already for the races that I wanna run, uh, and it's a bit crazy because uh, it goes up to 2024. A couple of the races are in the same month or really close together and I have to travel quite far for pretty much all of them. So yeah, that's why there's a lot of time in between. So be before 2024, I want to run all of them. And then to top it off, I want to run uh, in the Paris Olympics in 2024. Now before you think I've gone crazy and think that I can be an Olympic runner, in 2024, they're opening up the marathon to the public, so you can run the Olympic course uh, with all the Olympic runners uh, as a regular Joe. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I could be an Olympic runner in 2024. Now, the crazier thing to me is that I've made plans for the next five years for my races already. Uh, I guess there's a lot to look forward to. So I hope you'll follow me in my journey, and I hope to run into you at some of these races. Now. I have some training to do, so uh, until next time, get out there and run.